Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. And by that title, you guys can see that I'm bringing you guys a DIY dining room makeover in today's video. And we are starting off by going to Goodwill to pick up the dining room table that we will be transforming. So I really lucked out with this table. My mom was actually the one who found it. She called me, she was like, Kayla, if this is the table you want, come up here and get it right now. Because she knew that I had been looking for a round one. And I thought a round table would be a lot better because we recently created a door in our dining room area to go into the laundry room. So a round table would just really help with the overall flow. And so when I got there and I saw the table, y'all, I was so happy. I knew this was the one and I could not believe the price. So for all five of the chairs and the table, it was only like $49.99. It needed a little TLC and we'll get to that very soon, but I went ahead and grabbed it. storage unit and um we're here to get the dining room table so that's what's here and you guys might be wondering what else do i have in here it's a whole bunch of stuff mostly it's my teacher's stuff but yeah so we're gonna grab the table waiting for my dad to get here with the truck and then we're gonna drop it off back at home Here is the whole set, as you all saw um, for when we got it a year ago. Um, and I think, I think they look great. I'm gonna do the chairs. So y'all, the plan is right now, at first I was gonna paint the table and the chairs black. I think now this, these chairs have a beautiful like grain of wood in them. I think what I'm gonna try to do instead is give them a really good clean and then I'm gonna try to bleach them. I've never bleached furniture before. It's gonna be really interesting. I wonder if I need to sand them first, but if you guys can see like all the grooves in here, it would be a, not impossible to sand, but it would just take a really, really long time. Um, and I don't know if that's worth it, cause I don't even know if I'll like how they look once they're in their most natural state. So we'll see. And then for the table, I don't know, do I want the table to kind of be a natural color too? Or do I want the table to be black? At first I was like, no matter what, I'm painting the table black to match the coffee table. That is a similar shape. Actually the same exact shape. But now I just, I don't know y'all. Leave me a comment, let me know, like what would your design choice be? Okay guys, so now that you're all caught up on everything, we can begin working on the table. It needs quite a lot of work, as you guys have seen and heard, and it's finally gonna get the attention that it deserves a year later. So, I have a bucket of water right here, mixed with just like some regular dish soap. I didn't put any like pine saw or any cleaner in it. And I'm just gonna use a microfiber towel to clean this fat boy off on the top and all around the legs. So that's what we're gonna do now. And then once we're finished cleaning the table and chairs, we'll talk about the design. Listen to them. 
Okay y'all, so the table has been completely clean as well as all of the chairs back there and I just wanna show y'all the water. I feel like it's just so dirty. So I'm gonna pour this out and then let's talk about the design. I am thinking and I asked you guys on my Instagram what I should do because I had a lot of different options. So of course we could just paint the chairs and the tables white. That can be option number one. Option number two was we could paint everything black. Option number three was we do the table in like a natural wood finish to match the floors and then we do the chairs in black and then option number four was we keep everything in a natural like wood tone but just lighten it up. So, I picked, well, let me pop up what you guys said on Instagram to do. Hopefully, I can get the poll. We are going to go ahead and paint the table. Actually, no, sorry. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and strip the table down to a lighter wood finish, possibly bleach it, I don't know. And then we're going to paint the chairs black. I feel like that is going to be the best option for us. So, here's what I picked up at Home Depot. I ended up getting this premium stripper because I've been doing a lot of research on YouTube about how to really like lighten up the wood of a table. A lot of people say bleach, whitewashing, all that stuff. But before you can even get to that step, we have to take off what's here, the varnish and the top coat. So this is what's going to help with that. It's just a premium stripper. I've only stripped furniture once before the vanity in the bathroom with citrus strip and that stuff was absolutely terrible I do not recommend so that's why I wanted to try something else that might be a little bit easier to use and because I'm trying to save my back and my arms I decided to also pick up some liquid sandpaper I've never used this product before either but um, it's a degreaser and degloser and I'm hoping it'll give me that sand it down look without the effort. We will see. I did some research on this product as well. It has very mixed reviews. Some people say it works great. Some people says it just does not match up to, you know, sanding it yourself. So we'll see together. Um, and then let's see what else I got. So as far as tools go, I picked up a scraper, three inches, this one right here. I also got these little wire brushes as well because a lot of the ladies that I watched who like do a lot of furniture flipping, they really suggested these to get into like the grooves. I don't, let me show you guys really quick. So like right here. So like right here on the side of the table, you guys can see there's a design. So this will just really help get into all those grooves after we put on the stripper. I also picked up some steel wool for the same exact reason, to help us get into all of the grooves. I already have sandpaper inside, so it's not something I have to buy. Of course, the liquid sandpaper doesn't work, then I'll pull that out. And then for the chairs, I got this paint, Scuff Defense by Bear. I used this in the cabinets inside and it worked beautifully. So I'm hoping this works really great for the chairs. I got it in a flat finish and you guys already know the color is Blackout, my favorite black shade of paint for the chairs. And I am gonna be doing a top coat, of course. So I got a top coat in a matte color. I think that will look really pretty. I don't want the chairs to have any type of shine to them so yeah I think that'll be great so I think we should start off this project by stripping the table I feel like it's gonna be the hardest thing to do because it's a very delicate process so with this product you just apply it to the surface and you leave it on for 15 minutes it says to apply a thick coat and yeah and then you just scrape it against the wood grain oh it's just a plastic stripping tool 
Well, I have a metal one. I think it'll be okay though. I'll make sure to be gentle. this whole entire project I definitely feel like stripping this table was the most satisfying part if you guys are enjoying today's video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment so far what you think about my design choices which will soon change so stay tuned and also if you're new here and you like DIY content you like lifestyle content home rental content go ahead and subscribe I've been thinking about your day and If you're planning on doing a furniture flip in the future and you have varnish that you need to get off, I definitely would recommend this tripper. The project, the product, sorry, it worked really great for me and I really prefer it as opposed to the citrus strip that I've used in the past. This was, like I said, just way easier to work with and it gave amazing results. Okay y'all, so I stripped down the table as much as I possibly could and now, actually it probably could do one more, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this liquid sandpaper and see what it's talking about. It definitely did a good job of getting off a lot of the varnish, but I do still see a few spots where it could have done a little bit more. So let's see if the sandpaper helped. <laughs> the camera cut off, but I was just saying that, um, to apply the liquid sandpaper, it says no mess, which is great. And it just says you wear gloves, shake it well, and use full strength to saturate a coarse, with a coarse lint-free cloth, apply pressure and rub in a circular motion. Fold and resaturate the cloth frequently to prevent redistributing the soils. Change cloth as needed. So. That's what it says, and that's what we're gonna do. Let's start on this side. But babe, how could I know?
too much. <laughs> oh golly. I mean, it does feel very, very smooth. I will say that. I'm kind of in an experimental phase where I want to apply some stain on here and see if they give me the look I'm going for. And you guys already know, I'm gonna try the antique white because that was the one that we tried on the inside and see if that does anything. Alrighty, you guys, let's try this and see. Okay y'all, so using this antique white wood stain was an immediate fail. I was immediately like, nope, 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 we're not moving any forward with this. And I kind of gave up at that point on getting the table to be the same color as the floors in our dining room because the whole point of doing all this stuff that I was doing, the strip and then the sandpaper stuff was to get it a lighter wood tone. So time had passed by like months actually and here we are more so in present day picking up this project and as time passed by i decided that i just wanted to go ahead and paint the entire table black so my plan completely changed you guys i didn't know this but bear has a chalk paint line so i went up there to home depot and tried it out but unfortunately you guys will see later on that as i'm putting this paint on which is in the color blackout it's supposed to be it was not going on black and at first i was like this is interesting like you know the guy had swatched it for me and it looked black in the store but it also did had like that purplish hue so anyways, I'm having faith at this moment that, oh, it's just gonna, you know, maybe two coats, it'll get blacker. Y'all, just wait and see what happens. But I definitely like the chalk paint, like the texture of it and how it dried and everything. But I end up using something completely different to get the final result. can see the difference between actual black paint in the color blackout versus whatever it was I was using so all my efforts I had to go ahead and repaint that and just basically start over but it was totally fine because my mother-in-law Marcus's mom she was in town and she helped me so 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 much so shout out to her y'all shout her out in the comments and it was I was just so happy to have her help on this project and with her help, I was actually able to finish all of this on the same exact day, which is absolutely insane. So we're going to go ahead and finish up painting the base of this table. And then as you guys can see, Marcus's mom right here, she's going over the top in the true color blackout. And then after this, we are going to go ahead and put on, actually, no, after this, we're going to go ahead and start painting the chairs.
at this point the table was looking extremely pretty like i love the way the black color looked on the table and the finish and everything was absolutely gorgeous i don't know if you guys well i know you guys see i know you guys see like those the wood puckering on the left side you know i really didn't notice it as much when the table was in like the natural wood state but now that it's painted it does stand out and i'm not really too sure what to do about it uh, my mother and I was like, my mother in law was saying I could just put like a um, a placemat over it or like a charger, which is true, and I probably will. But I don't know if that was there before or if that happened after I did like the whole stripping situation. You don't need to worry. Now when it comes to these chairs, I honestly was not sure at first if they would go with our style within the home or not. So we went ahead and just painted one to kind of see if it looked good in black and to see if I could kind of see it in the space. And when I tell you this black color, it transformed these chairs so much and they look even better than before. And so once I saw black, I was like, oh yeah, these are amazing. They look beautiful and they're definitely going to fit in our dining room. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys think. So when completing furniture flips, this step is actually one that I usually skip over, but I definitely decided to go ahead and do it because we're going to be eating on this table and I really, really wanted it to be protected. So I'm using a matte polyurethane, but you guys, I do not recommend this product because the table looked perfectly matte when we painted it, but adding this poly on top, it took away that matte effect so right now it's more of a satin with the poly on top which is really like it's okay but it's just it was so much better before like that true matte look it just cannot be beat so if you are wanting to use this poly in the matte color I definitely would try something else to see if you can get something that is actually matte and will still protect your furniture Anyway, I decided to go ahead and put it on the seat of the chair and on the handles of the chair because I really wanted the part where your back rests against to stay as matte as possible. Okay guys, and now we are back inside and it is time to decorate the dining room hutch. 
So I'm going ahead and taking off a lot of the clutter and just like random things that I had over here. And then we are gonna be getting this ready for the fall spooky season. So a lot of the things that I'm using, I will try to link them down below, but I wanted to keep a few of like our glasses and our china over here. And then we're just gonna accent with some other pieces. Of course, before I start moving things and putting some more cute stuff up here, I'm just wiping it off using my apple cider multi-purpose cleaner by Mrs. Myers. I totally recommend it for any fall cleaning that you guys might be doing. And then we're going to begin styling all of the shelves. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my design over here on the hudge. I think it's super cute and really fun and festive. So now that the hutch is beautifully decorated, we are going to go ahead and take out the old and bring in the new. So I love this setting table that we had in here. It's actually a table that we've had in my family for a really long time, so we don't plan on getting rid of it but we're just gonna be moving it to a new location. And then I'm also gonna be sweeping up because we've been coming in and out a lot recently because we're at the same time that I was filming this video, we were also working on the fire pit. So it was just a lot going on. Also the fall party was this day, which you guys will see soon in the fire pit video. So yeah, it was a lot of debris in this area, but once this table comes out, the new one is gonna come in and then you guys should get ready for the final reveal.
y'all i am so so obsessed i hope you guys enjoyed today's video we have reached the end please comment down below what you think of everything and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye